here today and you're planting winter wheat, is it? Yeah, Graham, Graham winter wheat. Um, should have been planted a few weeks back, but the weather just caught us. We had it, we had the place half planted and we got a nasty rain one evening. Um, so we're we're trying to finish it off today, so hopefully a couple of hours we'll be we'll be done. Yeah, and conditions seem good and very nice. Yeah, no, the last few days have been very good. I suppose it's after getting colder since the weekend um, and good dry there. So yeah, no, happy enough. Just once we can keep the crows away from it now. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I suppose the season overall, like with your plate, was there anything I was doing with you? Down here, yeah, you were harvesting in these fields as well with us, yeah. No, in general, we, we've had a good run at it. Like we were, we were finished early enough again in the season. Ever, everything, everything came out in good, good conditions. Um, crops are average enough. Um, so no, in general, the season has been good. Like the great, the grain harvest was good as well. And it's not too often we don't complain, but look, <laughs> we can't complain this year at the moment, you know. Very so, good, yeah. yeah. Running a massive 7718 yeah. with our Trimble guidance. Yeah, yeah, we got the Trimble off last year for the spring work. And I suppose the main reason we got it was for ridging with the potatoes and stuff. That was that was the main reason we got the auto steer. And which is like everything, once you get used to it, then you can't manage without it. Um, now we did have the Trimble, the Trimble screen. We, we bought a fertilizer spreader a few years ago on the TAMS and with the auto section control and all that and that was the original, so we had the screen, it was only last year, then we actually got the auto steer as well put in, you know, and you know, we, have it, we have it set up in both tractors, we just swap the steering wheel or the screen to either tractor, whichever tractor we want to use in which, you know. Yeah, so you're able to use it across loads of different functions. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, depending what tractors are what job, you know. Yeah. Um, I suppose with the reaching, did you find it beneficial? You were able to skip rows and stuff and come back in, and she was bang on every time. Bang on, we couldn't get over because I was afraid of starting that at the time. I was still going, you know, working next to each other, and it was yeah. one of the lads were out setting us up then, and we chanted, I couldn't believe how accurate, how accurate it was, even across side hills now as well and stuff. It was, it was brilliant. I couldn't get over it, you know. Yeah, because I have the drone footage, I can show up there of that, um, and it, it did look well. Like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is amazing. As I said, once you get used to it, I'd be afraid someday if, if something didn't work, would we ever be able to go back to it the old way? But look, we'll, we, hopefully that won't happen. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I suppose, obviously, the kind of worry for the coming year is the fertilizer price the costs, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think the section rate control and stuff like that would be a bit of a help anyway? Oh, absolutely. And even like here, no seeding and stuff like that. It's it's definitely, you'll see, like you'll see, we've, we're, there's no overlaps or anything like that, you know, well, to a certain degree. Um, but 100%, no. With, it's obviously not going to cover all the costs of the fertilizer and stuff, but, yeah. uh, but look, that's the way things are going, you know, everything's about the environment nowadays, and we're trying to cut down what we're using, and you know, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose your other tractor then, Jason, that's a Massey as well, is it? That's a Massey 7618, yeah. Um, she's around a few years longer. Um, now I suppose you might be looking and saying, we're, we must be Massey true and true, but we're, we're not. We've, we've, we've had a John Deere in the yard and New Holland's in the yard, but just at the moment it is, it seems to be all Massey. Um, to be fair, CFM there in Cork, um, we find the service with them very good and and again look we, we've had no complaints about these tractors and stuff so yeah, as I say well. yeah if they're not broke why fix it do you know what That's I mean it, so. Yeah. so your correction service is here Jason anyway you're running RTX fast yeah that's right so you're a two centimeter accuracy how are you finding that excellent as I said ridging even you know um, we sat it's mainly spring crops we grow we did set a bit of cover crop as well with it um, back in August, and we were delighted with it. Absolutely delighted. Um, I'll tell you how delighted we are with this now once it comes up. But I'm sure <laughs> looking at it at the moment, it's by God anyway, yeah. you know. Um, but as I said, on the region side of things, it was absolutely 100%, you know. Um, even half the reason we went with it on the region side of things, we were 
we were a stalk going stalk chopping with a three bed stalk chopper so we needed the beds to be bang on and even when we were doing that now back in the autumn it was 100% bang on we weren't doing any damage to drills or anything afterwards you know so that, like, that was the main reason that time for us going and they, they, they banned reg loaner on us so we you know this was the new system of killing off the haul and stuff. Yeah. I suppose it makes everything that bit more efficient as well with harvest and Oh it does. It does, yeah. 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 Uh, to me like all the small little things with uh, add them all up like it makes a big difference at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, that's right. Well thanks William for your time anyway Jason. No bother. Hopefully this will all come alright. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs>